Dr. Kaushik Sarkar, now tell us where you're from and what exactly do you, who do you represent today? Yeah, so uh, I work for Malaria No More. I'm the director of Institute for Malaria and Climate Solutions uh, of Malaria No More. That's a new global business unit of m and um, And I'm also serving as the interim India country director of Malaria No More. Yeah. How's the experience been so far at the Health uh, 2.0 conference? Excellent. Uh, yeah, fabulous. I think uh, uh, first time seeing these people uh, work, uh, you know, coming together after so long time. Um, I have been there for some time uh, doing webinars and meeting people. Uh, and, and now that at least the disease is going down, still the threat is there. I hear new trends coming. But, you know, this is fabulous. And we need to meet, interact and uh, I think educate each other, learn from their experience, and change things. Absolutely, I agree. Now, you have received an award today. You got recognized by Health 2.0. How do you feel about that? See, uh, the good thing about award is it keep you motivated. The bad thing about it, the award is it make you sleepless. So, you know, uh, the more and more recognition that you get, it brings more responsibilities and those responsibilities keep you awake till late, work till late, still try to make changes going forward and it's always easier to reach from 50 to 60 but not from 60 to 70, 70 to 80, it, it gets tougher. So. Wow, that's the, what a way to put it. Yeah. So, but we all need to work together. We have seen that what we, uh, you know, we have done in the last um, couple of decades. In 2014, there was Global Health Security Agenda. Uh, then there were uh, many policy changes. We are seeing people coming together in these type of meetings. But at the end of the day, many hundred thousands died in the last two years. And we, as the professionals of health, we failed to save those people. So something is not right. And we need to find that something. Because in 1920, something was not right. People died of Spanish flu. 100 years later, something is again not right. And we have not been able to correct that in the last 100 years. So what is that? I believe we haven't found the answer yet. I think I have the answer, but I'm going to tell you afterwards. <laughs> so now tell us about what your vision is uh, for the next five years. My vision for the next five years is to take the abstraction into reality. What we feel, especially at the intersection of health, climate and artificial intelligence or data, we have many ideas at abstraction, but we are not taking them to the real world because of various challenges. Number one, linguistic challenge. The language is different, not country to country, domain to domain. Health, technology, communication, their languages are different. Vocabulary is different. Second, epistemic institution. So when we think of some idea, we don't think of the re how to implement it in the real world. So that part. Third, business and social. How to make social impact, still make money, revenues. Because money is there at the revenue sector, business sector. It's not there at the social sector. You have to take it to that level to make an impact. So. Well, I'm not going to keep you longer. Go and network. And thank you for being here at the Health 2.0 conference. Thank you so much. And um, it's great conference. Uh, best wishes to all of you, the organizers. And uh, I hope we again meet soon. Yes, absolutely. We've got two more days here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.